Labour peer Lord Davis of Brixton has proposed a new way to reduce the delay for millions of older people between the announcement of the state pension annual uprating at the autumn statement, usually in November, and the implementation of the increased payment rates in April. During the Social Security uprating order debate on February 28, Lord Davis suggested starting the new payment rates on January 1 and giving state pensioners the underpayment for the first three months of the year as a lump sum, at the beginning of April adding that he thought everyone would love to receive that. The Labour peer acknowledged that current IT systems prevent the new payment rates being applied before April, but highlighted how the parliamentary process to debate the proposed uprating does not start until January in the House of Commons before ascending to the House of Lords in February. Lord Davis said the current system has been in place for 40 years and remains unchanged despite advances in technology. He told peers, the important point is that pensioners will not get the increase until April. That system of a September-slash-autumn announcement and April increases has, in effect, subsisted for 40 years despite all the developments in maintaining records and the computerization of systems. I was glad to hear my noble friend. Parliamentary Under Secretary of State at the Department for Work and Pensions, Viscount Younger of Lecky, suggests that some further thought is being given to this. In the interim it would be reasonable, to the extent that the effect of the increase could be from 1 January, although it is not possible to start the payment until April, because of the systems, for us to give the underpayment for the first three months of the year as a lump sum, at the beginning of April. I think that everyone would love to receive that. Labour peer Baroness Lister of Berterset also highlighted the delay from the September Consumer Price Index CPI, inflation figure, which was announced in mid-October, to the implementation of the uprating at the start of April. Both Labour peers acknowledged how Conservative MP Nigel Mill suggested in the House of Commons in January that changing the benefits operating process and bringing parliamentary business forward to November, would give people on state pensions or benefits more certainty instead of months of speculation. At the time, Mr Mills told MPs, we have to use September's inflation for an April increase in benefits, and we have to have an uprating order quite a while after the Chancellor has announced it in the budget. The Work and Pensions Committee recommended that the government bring these orders before the House earlier than February, so I commend the government, we are still in January. I suppose that is positive progress. Although I do not quite know why we could not have done this in November, to get that certainty. Below are the new payment rates, including the additional elements. Full details can be found on the Gov. UK website here. New state pension payment rates 2024-25 These payments will rise by 8. 5% full payment rate. £221.20, from £203.85, every four-week pay period, £884. 80, from £815.40, old slash basic state pension payment rates 2024-25 These payments will rise by 8. 5% Category A or B basic state pension, full rate, £169.50, from £156. 20, every four week pay period, £678, from £624.80, category B, lower, basic state pension, spouse or civil partners insurance, £101. 55, from £93.60, Category C or D, non-contributory, £101.55, from £93.60, additional pension payments increments to the following will rise by 6. 
7%, maximum additional pension, own plus inherited, £218.39, from £204. 68. Increments to the following will rise by 6.7% Basic Pension Additional Pension Graduated Retirement Benefit GRB, Inheritable Lump Sum Addition at age 80, £0 25. No change, increase of long-term incapacity for age higher rate, £28 40. From £26.60, lower rate 14 pounds and 20 pence, from 13 pounds and 30 pence, invalidity allowance, transitional, for state pension recipients higher rate, 28 pounds. 40, from 26 pounds and 60 pence, middle rate, 18 pounds and 20 pence, from 17 pounds and 10 pence, lower rate, 9 pounds and 10 pence, from 8 pounds. 55, get the latest record money news join the conversation on our money saving scotland facebook group for energy and money saving tips the latest benefits news consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis sign up to our record money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from monday to friday including a special cost of living edition on a thursday sign up here you can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at recordmoney underscore for regular updates throughout the day. New, get our money news alerts on your phone by joining our daily record money WhatsApp community. Boost state pension income by £3,900 each year The DWP is encouraging low-income pensioner households in Scotland, England and Wales to check their eligibility for pension credit as new claims made by Tuesday March 5, 2024, which later turn out to be successful, will also receive the £299 cost of living payment. Pension credit is a retrospective benefit that can be backdated by up to three months, which would take any applications submitted before March 5 to within the qualifying period of November 13 to December 12, 2023. The latest figures from the DWP suggest there are around 880,000 eligible pensioners not claiming the benefit they are entitled to potentially missing out on £3,900 additional annual income. Nearly 1.4 metres pensioners, including 127,000 living in Scotland are in receipt of the income-related benefit which also opens the door to additional financial support for housing costs, council tax, heating bills and free TV licences for the over 75s. The benefit currently tops up income to a minimum of £201.05 per week for single pensioners and £306.85 for couples, more if a person has a disability or caring responsibilities. From April, the payments will increase to £218.15 per week for single pensioners and £332. 95 for couples quickest way to check eligibility for pension credit older people, or friends and family, can quickly check their eligibility and get an estimate of what they may receive by using the online pension credit calculator on Gov. UK here. Alternatively, pensioners can contact the pension credit helpline directly to make a claim on 0800 99 1234. Lines are open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday to Friday. Join our daily record money WhatsApp community here to receive alerts on the latest money news from benefits to shopping deals.